Welcome back to NASA Edge. I can I can see we have uh, <laughs> interesting spread here. Yeah, well, see the buzz, uh, Franklin. Uh, as you know, as we all know, uh, you're now a new father. That's true. I am a new father, uh, baby boy. Yes. Adam Christopher was born on July 13th, and I go use the restroom between the breaks. <laughs> I come back and I see this. You know? That's right. And uh, Ron, do we do we have a picture of the baby we can put up? There it is. Um, I see the baby. Picture of the baby. There's another one. Okay, uh, uh, Adam. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Who's that? It's Adam. That's not Adam. Yeah, well, yeah, no, that... Really? Anyway, before we move on, we do want to get back to aeronautics. Yes. But I did want to say, on behalf of the entire NASA Edge crew, congratulations and as a special uh, kind of offering, I just want to let you know, in all seriousness, I offer my services as Adam's godfather and, and instruct him in the ways of the world if necessary. And Franklin, I believe. I'm Uncle Franklin. Be, well, be careful when you say godfather because right. if, if, that, if you're going to pay for the child's education, I'm all for it then. Penn State, out of state tuition. Not uh, a problem. Pseudo Godfather, <laughs> uh, uh, God brother, maybe if there if such a thing exists. Hey, I, I got five on it. <laughs> but but speaking of education, we yes. have a cool segment coming up here. We do. Uh, we do have. Uh, there's a lot of engineers here at NASA Langley who mentor kids. We bring mm -hmm. in a lot of students from university levels and, and even high school. One engineer, Gary Qualls, uh, has. That was fortunate enough to bring in 10 students this summer to work on a Impressive. very cool project. Yeah. Uh, tell a little bit more about that. Well, actually, what they're doing is uh, sort of an accident avoidance system for these remote helicopters. Right. So they, they actually do collision avoidance and things like that using really interesting uh, technology. Right. And one of the students happens to be Amanda, who, who has been a field reporter for us. That's right. That's right. So uh, let's take a look at the clip. Yes, we're here with Gary Qualls, and I understand you worked with a bunch of students this summer. What actually did you guys work on? Well, uh, we've had a group of 10 students working on a small robotics lab. We've got a combination of ground vehicles and some aerial vehicles. We've got a blimp. Mostly we've been focusing on some quad rotor helicopters, which are small helicopters with four motors that keep them up. And the students have been teaching them how to fly around in a volume and interact with each other. And that's the whole idea of the lab, is to find out how these kind of interactions will work best. Uh, and they are situations that could vary from small planes in real airspace to robots flying around indoors. So to get this kind of work done, the students have had to look at computer programming. These kind of robots uh, have code on board that's controlling how they work. We use a lot of open source software for that. All the robots are talking to ground computers that have software running on them that the students have written. Most of the 10 students at this point have written their own control programs from scratch to control different vehicles, either ground vehicles, simulated airplanes flying around the county, and also these quad rotors flying around inside the lab. We've got electrical engineering students, computer science students, we've got psychology students, aerospace engineering students, mechanical engineering students, and they're all having to work across several different disciplines. They're all writing code, they're all checking electronics, they're all soldering stuff together, finding out what doesn't work. Because solving these kind of problems is different from the normal kind of problems you get in a lab at school. In a lab or a homework assignment, you're given everything you need to be able to solve the problem. And those are not the kind of problems that you get out in the real world, and it's not the kind of problems we're giving them here in the lab. You know, we're giving them problems where they have to do a lot of research online or go to the library, start conversations with people who are writing the open source software they're trying to use. Those people will change the software to help us out and do our job. So it's a very interactive, very cross-discipline project. To see them you know, toward the end of the summer kind of come into their own and feel very comfortable with electronics, very comfortable with software they've written, and be able to work together as a good team. I mean, it's, it's a really good feeling to see everything come together. We got to get one of those quadcopters. For, yeah. the, for this office here. And for Adam. He could like airlift yeah. uh, in new diapers. Like That's you can have him bring them to you and you can <laughs> a, and hold your hands up and the helicopter <laughs> drop the gloves on and the, you're good the, to go. Yeah, there you go. For the record, he uses gloves to change diapers. But. Hey, be before we go, uh, we have to wrap up the show because we're running a little, uh, short on time. I do want to mention uh, uh, one important thing. We talked about education. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're a student out there, if you're a high school, if you're a college student, you know, uh, you know, aeronautics uh, has a 
a lot of uh, cool programs that you can participate in. If you just go to aeronautics.nasa.gov slash education, uh, you can go to that website and, and see a list of competitions, education programs. And if you're teachers, you can download cool activities. I really encourage you to go to that website. And if you're a really sharp student, then you'll end up doing things like Amanda with Gary Qualls. Or if you're a really poor student, you'll end up here in the NASA Edge Studios. <laughs> <laughs> Do, on diaper duty. <laughs> and for the record, I don't use the gloves anymore. So that, that was old. School. Yes. <laughs> that's great. That's good news. You're growing. You're watching NASA Edge. An inside outside look at all things NASA. He's becoming more fatherly. I still can't believe you're wearing diapers. <laughs> <laughs>